The Common Agriculture Policy is being revised, and under the right circumstances, it has the potential to foster natural synergies between bioenergy and agricultural sectors. We think that the CAP should encourage the supply of bioenergy from agriculture and forestry while promoting the use of bioenergy on farms and rural areas. Bioenergy is currently the largest source of renewable energy in Europe. With only 5% of imports, our sector contributes to climate change mitigation while providing jobs, growth and additional income for farmers in the EU. The long-term vision for a climate-neutral economy published by the European Commission identifies the most significant potential for bioenergy feedstock growth in domestic agrobiomass, such as agricultural residues, short rotation coppices such as willow, lignocellulosic grass such as miscanthus. At present, agrobiomass to energy potential is largely unexploited due to mobilization issues. An appropriate legislative framework could improve the situation and we have some suggestions for policymakers. In the post-2020 Common Agricultural Policy, the rural development budget should be at least maintained in real terms. Measures to adequately mobilize biomass and to improve sustainability of farms are key to meet EU climate and energy policy targets. Secondly, support synergies between agriculture and bioenergy. Valorizing agrobiomass by using it for energy purposes provide income diversification for farmers, socioeconomic development at a local scale, and a clean source for farms, agro-industries, and rural communities' own energy requirements. Thirdly, recognize perennial energy crops' environmental benefits. Perennial energy crops, such as miscanthus and shore rotation coppices, improve soil quality, biodiversity, groundwater quality, and thrive in poor soils.